who are chasing a woman is not sweet. Allow women to also chase you. Because you are the only one chasing, that is why they find it difficult to commit. So 99% of women will chase a man who knows these things and do them. So if you're always chasing and she's not chasing, ask yourself, are you really doing them? That is the reason she's not chasing. But if you're doing them, they trust me, they are going to chase. Number one, always have conditional sentence, statement whenever you want to talk to her. Conditional statement is when you want her to do something for you or you want to do something, you say, yes, I can do this for you only if you can do this. Only if you can do this. Let's say, for instance, I want to take you to the cinema only if you will agree to share your popcorn with me when we get there. You see, it's like a funny thing, but you've already told her your mind what you want. It makes her to really get her mind thinking, or oh, is it just the popcorn? I will share with you. I, will, I can take you to my house only if you will agree to keep your hands straight. You will not touch me. This gets them to really want to do those things you really attach those conditions to. Once you attach condition to a statement, a woman wants to know why the condition. She will want to keep it. And most times, they get to maybe those funny, funny things. Oh, I don't like, I don't like it. I can, we can be friends, but only if you can agree me to really touch you once in a while. So if she has already agreed to friend zone you and you tell her this, she will now say, oh, I cannot be your friend then. Or if she agrees, most times they will accept. Oh, if you can touch me once in a while. No, I don't want you to touch me once in a while, but I want us to be friends. But you just told her your mind. You just told her what you want. You just told her you cannot really be her friend. Now, I can do this for you only if you will agree to come to my place to do something for me. She's now seeing it that, yes, you want, you, you, you can do things for her. And you're also putting yourself in the picture. So, if she's doing, you're doing anything for her, she's expectant to do something for you too. So as she's doing something for you, she's getting committed. She starts chasing. And when you do these things, it is not time you should always chase the woman. It is time maybe when you guys see, you give condition, you give conditional statement. So that whenever you give those conditional statements, she will do those things you want her to do. You know, naturally, women don't like doing things for men. But when you give conditional statement, the woman knows she wants those things. And she knows she needs to give something to get that thing. It makes her to really chase. It makes her mind to go wild. It makes her to most, time, most times think about to depending the condition you give her before she do, before you do that thing for her. If she did it and she went home, most times she would laugh. Oh, I can only take you out. Only if you will allow me hold your hands or hold you on your shoulders. She will say, oh, where do you want us to go? You want to take ice cream? No problem. I can take you to Keystone. I can take you to anywhere you want to go. Those places that she really likes, that those food that she wants to eat, only if something would happen. But most times you don't tell her only if you're taking her to the other room or to the bedroom. But you can give her something that will really get her thinking about, oh, what, why, why this, why the condition. Most times they don't even, they don't even see it as condition. But you, you know what you're saying. You know it's condition. So and you, you've given her the condition. She will accept because she really wants, she really wants that, that thing from you. She's going to accept. And doing those things, she get to get to commit to you. And get to love you genuinely without even knowing. Because immediately she's done doing those things for you. She will go back home thinking about those things she did for you. And once you've given maybe conditional statement, maybe the woman left, don't call her immediately. Give her time. She's going to reach out. She's going to call you. Even those of you in a long distance relationship, most times you can give conditional rela condition conditional statement to Oh, you want you want a phone only if you can do this for me only if be polite be f be jovial with it so that she doesn't see it as something serious she doesn't need to do and don't tell her only if 
she need to do something you know she will not really oblige to. With time, she begin to oblige to everything you will say because it will make her to chase. And most times when you give them those conditional statements, do not chase them. Do not start calling them. Do not start... Re- most times you, you're forming busy. Most times when they call you, you don't take immediately. Give it like 30 minutes one hour you call them back oh so sorry i missed your call i was busy i wasn't at work i was in my shop i was in my business place and i have customers i have something i need to attend to that is why i missed your call anything do you want anything or you just want to hear my voice today let her let the conversation flow let her know that yes you missed her call it was not deliberate and it was not intentional. Most times you miss her call. You say, yes, I don't want to take your call. After all, I called you the last time. You did not take my call. She knows you're playing game. And that lady will gaslight you. Because if she know, no, truly you're rejecting her call, you're playing game, it makes her to really say, oh, I don't even need to call him again. In fact, most times they start using you because they feel it was just when they need something, they need to reach out or they need to call you. Then another thing you will do that really make a woman chase you that you don't even know is point out something that is an obstacle. Most times point out, oh, I would have loved us to do this thing. Oh, I would have loved us to do this thing. But this thing is the reason why we can't do it. Point out an obstacle that will make her, that will make you not to really be with her, that will make you guys not to maybe go out, that will make your relationship maybe not to work. Yes, maybe she's 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 telling you, oh, I don't like this thing, I don't like this thing. You tell her, oh, I would have loved to take you seriously, but you've already said this. That is the reason why maybe we can't be. I can't really take you seriously. You will see that she will do everything to remove those obstacles. She will do everything to remove those hurdles on your ways in order for you to in order for you to really reach out to her. And if you're doing this, always do not be too available. When you're pointing out obstacles, oh, see this, see, see, you maybe took her out. You'll be telling her, oh, see this guy. This guy is just looking at you. I think this guy likes you. I think these men will be the reason why maybe we can't we can be serious or I can't really commit to you because I don't know what they would do if I'm if I get married to you. Maybe they will come and take you from me. You see, those obstacles you're telling her, these are the obstacles. And most times, when you point out obstacles like that, she knows that this cheating is your it is something you're not going to tolerate because you're already pointing it that it's an obstacle that can really make you not really commit to her or marry her. So when she notices this, it makes that woman to really withdraw. Even if someone is attracted to her, she needs to chat someone, call her exes because you've pointed it as an obstacle. She's never going to do it. And most times, this makes them to chase you when you don't even know oh this obstacle they because they need to remove them so they will do everything and anything for you to reach out freely without anything standing on the way so if you know these two things it makes a woman to really chase you is she chasing you is she is she is she the type that allows you to do all the calling or the testing she doesn't chase allow them to chase the way you're chasing so if she chase that is the balance in your relationship she's going to love you she's going to stay with you and she's going to always listen to you what you have to say the only thing is always try to be the head always try to be in charge and let the relationship flow smoothly and seamlessly this is spell solution the goal is for you to always stay in a healthy relationship and a healthy marriage do well to like drop a comment what you think about this video and if you've just seen my video for the very first time do not forget to subscribe to my channel click on the notification bell whenever i post you'll be the very first person to see this video and follow my page for more videos like this do not forget to also share share to families and friends they will like it thank you